What's up everybody, Zadius Tech here again, bringing you another fix for your PS4 since the release of the 8.50 update from PlayStation. And what I'm going to bring up on the screen now is a poll that I put out on my channel where I asked you guys, did the PS4 update 8.50 work for you or not? And about 60% of you responded and said that yes, it worked fine. The other 40% something went wrong so some of the things that went wrong were after installing the update you can't sign into the playstation network so about seven percent of you said that that happened and then the others were a bunch of error codes and the one error code that stood out the most is su-42118-6 so this is the one where you get an error code when trying to install the ps4 system software update 8.50 you'll either get an error stating that the update couldn't install or you get stuck in a safe mode loop where you can't even get on your ps4 blue screen and you're just stuck going in the loop and there's nothing you can do okay so in the scenario where your ps4 is still working but you can't install the ps4 8.50 update and like i said in my previous video if you don't install 8.50 you won't be able to play online games like call of duty and so on so what you want to do to fix this problem is you'll want to go up to your notifications right here press the x button and then you're going to go find the system software version 8.50 download and hit options and you'll want to go ahead and delete it after you do this go ahead and restart your ps4 and hopefully once it re-downloads it you can try again and it will work just fine so a lot of people have reported that this fix actually works so Go ahead and give that a try. Now, for those of you that are stuck with a non-working PS4, either you'll get a error message stating that SU-42118-6, the update could install and you're stuck without booting up, or you're getting a cannot start the PS4, or in some cases, you'll get an error message stating that the PS4 wants you to insert a USB that contains the update file for 8.50. So I'm gonna walk you guys on what you can do to fix that problem. So the first thing you'll wanna do is get your PS4 into safe mode. And for those of you who don't know how to do that, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We're gonna take our PS4 controller and we're gonna connect our compatible USB cable to the controller and then to the PS4. Okay, so now what we need to do to install the PS4 system software update from the USB drive is to put our PS4 into safe mode. In order to do that, you're gonna hold down the power button for about eight seconds. You're gonna hear it beep twice. So make sure you hear that second beep. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down now. That's one beep. Keep holding it down to hear the second beep. There we go. You can go ahead and let it go. Okay, so we look up at our screen now, we're gonna get this message here. So it says safe mode and then it says connect the DualShock 4 using USB cable and then press the PS button. So we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna take our PS4 controller and we're gonna press the PS button. Now, if nothing happens when you press the PS button, that means that your USB cable is not compatible with the PS4. You're gonna need to find another cable or pick up the one from the link in the description below. So let's go ahead and press that PS button now. Now you're gonna get the safe mode menu and you're not gonna use this analog stick to go up and down. It's not gonna go up and down. You need to use the D-pad here. Okay, great. Now that you're in safe mode, what you're gonna wanna try is option number five, which is rebuild database. Again, use the D-pad to go down because the analog sticks will not work. So once you're on option five, go ahead and press X to rebuild database. And you're gonna go ahead and move over to OK and press X, this will rebuild your database and it will try to correct any problems with the data on your PS4 hard drive. Once you do this, go ahead and try to install the update again after it restarts. Now, if that doesn't work for you guys, there is another option you can try and that is to manually install the PS4 system software update 8.50 and you're gonna go up to 
option number three here. The first method you should try is to use the internet to install the PS4 system software update. This is going to work fine if you already have your Wi-Fi configured or if you're using a LAN cable connected to your PS4 and to your router. So give that a try first. Now, if that doesn't work, there's still one more option that you can try, and that is to use a USB storage device to install the PS4 system software update. This method will require you to have a flash drive and a smartphone or computer to be able to download the update file onto this USB flash drive and insert it into your PS4. I will leave a link to a compatible USB flash drive that I know works down in the description. And if you want step-by-step -step details on how to perform this update using the USB, then you should see something on your screen on the top right that's gonna show you a video on how to do that. Otherwise, you'll find it in the description below. Okay, so if you tried all those methods, the last thing to do is to go ahead and initialize your PS4, warning that this will delete everything on your PS4. This is a last resort. Now, I will mention that for online games like Call of Duty and Fortnite, your data is stored on their server, so you don't have to worry about those so much. Just make sure you have your login information for those services. However, for single player games such as Spider-Man, The Last of Us, and so on, those game saves will just be gone. And the only way to get them back is if you have a previous backup of those game saves to a USB drive, or if you have an active subscription to PlayStation Plus, you have to have had an active subscription when this happened. Otherwise, the game saves will be gone. But hey, it's better to have a working PS4 than a brick PS4 just acting as a door stopper. Okay, the good thing about option number six, it doesn't require you to have any type of USB drive or anything. So hopefully that worked out for you guys. But in the case that it didn't, then you're gonna have to do option number seven, which is reinstall system software using a USB drive. Now this is a little bit more involved, but I do have a video on that that you'll see on your screen in the top right right now. You can also find it in the description below. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Leave a comment. Let me know which of these fixes worked for you to get your PS4 working. And if you need additional help, you can join the private discord by hitting the join button on my channel. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.